Urban Wonders started years ago and it was really just a one day event where I thought, let's have some artists just paint our dogs and maybe they'll get home. So it really started very simple. <laughs> and as the years have gone by, it continued to just grow. This year's show is, is a lot different. At the end of last year's show, the team at Stray Rescue, we all pow out and we came up with some uh, wonderful ideas and, and one of them was, let's not give them a picture of the dog. Let's just give them the story, the artist, the story. This year, having the stories to work with, I think we'll give everyone a, a better idea of what the dogs have gone through and what the volunteers and the staff goes through. Treya, what a beautiful story. Its owner passes away, still chained up in the backyard, wasn't surviving, had to gnaw off her paw to get out of these shackles that she was in, and was saved by Stray Rescue. Mine was a little different than everyone else's. They asked me to do a tribute to the dogs that we lost and that we saved during the distemper outbreak. I ended up interviewing a lot of the caregivers. And once I got their stories, I had to figure out how to present that and put that out there because their words were just so moving. I think we lost 43. Yeah, that's part of the exhibit, but it had to be. Their names were over there. A lot of the art was inspired by them. My piece was inspired by what we went through. It's part of the show, but you know what, that's life. I think art's about life, and I can't think of a better way to immortalize 43 special souls than by art. It's definitely documenting what's going on out there, but I think a lot of times it just happens to be artistic as well. I think it's kind of an out of sight, out of mind thing where it's like anything where if it's not like right around you, maybe sometimes you're just not aware of the problem. So hopefully this will bring awareness. We always have the dogs participate and make art. Load them up with paint and let them do their thing. I named a dog Hutton and a dog Fabry from two blues players. Well, we have two of their signed jerseys plus the dog's paw prints on those jerseys and they're framed, it's really cool. I think it's really important to read the stories that go along with the artwork and understand why we as artists feel compelled to be a part of Stray Rescue. What Stray Rescue of St. Louis does for the community and for these dogs is a gift from God. It's a, a nice little window into what Stray Rescue is all about. It just totally tells you what is Stray Rescue. I get asked that all the time, what's Stray Rescue? What's, it's so hard to put in the words, but my God, they did put it into art and it tells the whole story.